you've worked hard on those arms and pecs, but what about your legs? Well, with the following workout, you don't need to hide your underdeveloped legs behind sweatpants anymore. While weights are one of the best ways to maximize strength and muscle gains, it's still possible to build well-trained legs with body weight only. In the following workout we chose one knee dominant movement that focuses on the quads, one hip dominant movement for the glutes and hamstrings, and one ankle focused exercise for your calves. For the step up you need a bench, a chair, a box or any other stable object. It's also very important to choose the correct height. Too low and you limit the range of motion. Too high and you have to use momentum. To get the right center of gravity, shift your weight a bit forward, release the rear leg slowly and try to get up as controlled as possible. Knee stability is the most important point in this movement. Don't shift your weight forward and backwards after each rep. Instead you keep the shifted position at all times. This makes you only slightly touch the ground with your rear leg and ensures that you keep the tension at the lowest point. When it comes to the single leg glute bridge, you can do it on the ground, but we suggest the elevated version to increase the range of motion. Important tip. Only place your heel on the object and press it down when raising your hips. Please also make sure to add a short hold at the top and keep your lower back as neutral as possible. When it comes to the calf raise, we also suggest the elevated version. This increases the range of motion and with that optimizes muscle growth. Always make sure to keep the knee extended, but not overextended. We also suggest adding a short hold at the top of each rep. Alright, now it's time to start the workout. But please make sure to check our day by day workout guides on kellymove.com after you've tried this leg routine. All three sets follow the same method, which is a modified rest pause training. This means you start with one leg and do as many reps as possible. Right after that you switch to the other leg and do the same. After you've completed both legs, you repeat this procedure until you've done 3 rounds for each leg. Please be aware that the amount of reps will drop significantly after you've completed the first round. This is quite normal because you only get short active breaks for each leg when you are working the other one. Once you've completed the 3 rounds, it's time for the first real break. Here you get 3 minutes to recover before you repeat the 3 rounds one more time. After that you rest for 3 minutes again and do the same with the single glute bridge followed by the single leg calf raise. When it comes to the reps, it would be ideal to max out at 8 to 15 reps in the first round of the first set of each exercise. Because of the pre-exhaustion your reps will drop with each round. That's why you do as many reps as possible. If you can easily do more than 15, you can add some extra weight. Of course there's nothing wrong with bodyweight training at a higher rep range, but be aware that this is not optimal for muscle growth. Of course you will still build some muscle, but the main focus switches more to strength endurance training. Alright, now it's up to you. Try this short and intense leg workout and leave your feedback in the comments. If you are looking for more workouts and a step by step guide that works your whole body in a balanced way, you should head over to kellymove.com. No matter if you want to train from home, get mobile or master calisthenics, we got you covered. If you like this routine, make sure to support us by leaving a like, subscribing and activating the notifications. 
My name is Alex and I'll see you in the next video.